cool. So, you remember back to your childhood when that uh, the cartoon, the real Ghostbusters, uh, came out? Uh, they also came out with a drink that was in a pouch uh, called Ecto Cooler. Well, with the uh, new Ghostbusters movie, they have come out with it once again. The problem is it's not available in every store. And if you go online, it's really seriously hard to uh, to find for mail order. So uh, Billy Owens over here, uh, as I like to call him, um, saw, saw some sort of a, an ad or yeah. circular. Or I would say an exclusive retailer notification. There you go, an exclusive retailer notification saying Walmart has Ecto Cooler. So uh, my wife and I, we went to uh, see the new Ghostbusters movie the other night. We bought a $3.50 can of Ecto Cooler. The uh, concessionaire, the, the, the chick that sold us the uh, Ecto Cooler says, yeah, and we're the only ones authorized to sell it. So here we are watching the movie thinking, the only way we got Ecto Cooler was a theater exclusive. Well, and Mr. Owens over here told me that is not the case. We need to go to Walmart so we can have some for our Sukasas. So, we are ISO EC, which translates to, uh, to In what? In search of Ecto Cooler. You're going to be along for the ride. Where in the, is the Welcher? <laughs> We're here at Walmart in search of Second Walmart location. And I just gotta ask old uh, Leonardo right here. Why can't you be associated with high C? And at that, why can't you be a Ghostbuster? Why can't you be a Ghostbuster? I'm starting to feel like we're screwed. But Carl's Jr. about to get some. Uh, Oh, you know, Thanks, man. Uh, this guy just offered me a three-way. Uh, it's not what you think, though. It's uh, actually a... It's called the Carl's Jr. Bacon Three-Way Burger. And uh, that guy that just handed me the jalapeno poppers, he uh, he offered them like this. He's like, Welcome to Carl's Jr. Would you like to try one of our new... Dude, there was like... It felt like a 10-second pause. Probably more like five seconds. But I think he turned off his mic to do like a Beavis and Butthead laugh. Like, welcome to Carl's Jr. Would you like to try a new... <laughs> so like five seconds later, he's like, a bacon three-way burger? <laughs> and uh, so we had a conversation as we were waiting for these, uh, these uh, poppers to fry. He agreed that uh, he broke character. It was as if he was off ship. And he's like, yeah, it's the greatest name for a burger ever it even contains sausage he's on the clock but he wasn't so anyways a pleasant conversation um we're eating our feelings because uh we're 0 for 2 0 for 2 uh we've been uh as you know in search of ecto cooler and now we're going to the uh the far far southwest of tucson to a, a town called Green Valley. It's not even a suburb of Tucson. And uh, we're, we're going to the outskirts now. It's, it's our final stop, our final attempt for Ecto Cooler. And we hope that uh, we, you included, will have smiles on our collective faces.
Key lime slime is what it says. Dude, even better, man. Tanks. Yeah, sure. You know, those ones that have the, the, the marshmallows, uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yeah. Gotta get both of them. So while it's not a complete loss that we did not find the Ecto Cooler, we got something that might be cooler. <laughs> So, Twinkies are fine and dandy. However, we are in search of Ecto Cooler. So while we didn't find it at three Walmarts that we went to, I do know that there's some of that green gold here at Century Cinemark Theaters. $3.50 a can, but we're each about to get a can so that this night ends the way it was intended. We may not have like a six or a 12 pack for home, we're about to go and buy some and consume it right now. Oh, tell them what we have here. Well, it took uh, two towns, three Walmarts, one movie theater, and uh, approximately 84 ounces of soda. Um, to find what we were looking for and uh, the sad thing is it's only about three minutes away from my house <laughs> um, but we're gonna try some ecto cooler on ice because ecto cooler is flying out the shelf so much that all they had was warm ones inside the movie theater um, and we're gonna try out uh, some white fudge twinkies with the uh, stay puff marshmallow man and some lemon slime slimer themed green twinkies um, and, uh, that's right, 11 o'clock at night, and we're eating Twinkies in a parking lot. You don't need to ask me twice. Except bench hoagies. I don't pump iron, I pump hoagies. You know. Well, the sniff test, uh, smells, you know. Um, the fragrancy of this beverage is probably that of artificial coloring, yeah. high fructose corn syrup, and uh, Slimer's um, playing Super Nintendo till about 3 a.m. until your parents wake up to tell you to go to bed. That's, that's what it smells like to me. That, that was a time machine statement right there. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> I, <laughs> you know they say your palate develops as you age? I don't know what happened to mine, but this is like drinking a lollipop, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world right now. Exactly. So this is the unboxing of the White Fudge Marshmallow Twinkie, um, and Eric's got the uh, standard um, Slimer edition. So, uh, White Fudge. You know it. Exactly. It's like a zebra cake. It does exactly. So that that is literally exactly what it tastes like. But knowing that it's uh, it's the, like a more dense zebra cake. And definitely the uh, the twinky butteriness is coming through now. And the frosting definitely made from the skin of the Stay Puft Marshmallow. Man. Yeah, it it tastes like um, it definitely tastes like '80s New York City. <laughs> it does. Before Times Square was cleaned up, that's for sure. Lady Liberty, though. Wow. It and the Ecto Cooler actually tastes better after, I think. So what you're saying is that to drink Ecto Cooler properly, which is very tart, it's so sweet, um, yeah. you have to add... Um, Twenty-three grams of sugar per serving to it. You do. <laughs> Just dump it in. You know. All right. Now we're moving on to slime time. Yeah. I like that. I'm a huge key lime fan. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. It definitely tastes exactly like a regular Twinkie with like that tangy undertone of lime. Yeah, um, I would also, I would prefer a little bit more lime flavor, actually. Yeah, yeah. 
It says Key Lime Slime Twinkies. Um, well, I feel like we uh, were less than informative, not very exciting, <laughs> and uh, we both will be suffering from a sugar high. Um, leave your comments below, right, right below here, right down there, after you click that like or dislike button. Hey, we don't care. And as you're doing that, we're going to be violently shaking from the aforementioned sugar high. You know. Until the next time, we're the, the Welcher.